y'all hey and welcome to my channel i'm so glad to be back after a very long hiatus i really needed it and so i'm back i wanted to talk to y'all about diamond art club for those of the you that have been following me um know that i have gotten into diamond art um i just i love it i really do um Especially when you're dealing with a company um, like Diamond Art Club, it's their quality and their craftsmanship is phenomenal. I have been working on diamond painting kits that, you know, when, when I get done with them, I sit back and I look at them and there's no detail. There's absolutely no detail at all. Not like what you get from this company. I mean, it's it's night and day. It's a night and day difference. Now, um, I'm going to put their website, a link to their website on, um, on, geez, in the, in the description box. And, um... I'm just going to warn you that when you go on there and you look at the prices, they're a little bit pricey, but you are paying for quality, um, just quality. There, I, I cannot stress that enough. The quality, the, the um, attention to detail, it, they're their paintings are very detailed um whereas your kits that are mass produced are that there, there's no detail there whatsoever like i finished um, a couple of weeks ago i finished a ballerina and I, I i really loved it and then after i got done with it you know i looked at it and i went where where is where you know where is this and where is that and so anyway um as you can see right now uh i'm, I'm you know doing the unpackaging and in every kit you're going to get a bag of baggies because um diamond art club stores or not stores but they ship out their kits with their diamonds packaged in those little cellophane bags Ugh, i know i know it's like fingernails on a chalkboard or at least to me i can't no i can't stand them but your toolkit comes with a tray um some diamond club artists call it a boat now that the little strawberry that i'm holding it's called a page binder minder because there are some people there are some people there are, yeah some people <laughs> that work on diamond paintings and they will take this the the cover and roll it back or backwards so they can work and to keep that cover from rolling forwards you pl it's a magnet that little strawberry is a magnet and you take the magnet apart and you place the cute little top on the top of your um, you know on top of the cover and then you take the magnet and you place it underneath your um, your painting and it will it will keep the cover from you know, uh, pulling forward or, or moving or, or anything. It will hold it stable. You also get a pen, um, a pen grip, which I don't like. Because first of all, I can't ever get them on there. And second of all, they just feel funny to me. It comes with two, uh, two little pads of wax. 
Now their wax is it poured thick, so you you know can you can push your pin in once and you will have enough wax. Um, when I did that ballerina, the the wax was poured so thin. I had to fill up my pen twice. Um, you know just to get enough wax in my pen. But um, anyway, back to the price of these kits. Well, maybe not. Um, this right here, you can peel off the back and it's a sticker, all of that stuff is stickers. But that picture right there, um, you have diamond painting people that keep journals about the artwork that they do or the kits that they do and on that part of the paper it will have the name of the painting the start and stop date and then of course you know a picture of the painting itself and I think it has it has the dimensions and the name of the artist um, I can't remember and I can't see while I'm editing. And then um, on the right hand side, like you see here, no matter what you store your diamonds in, whether it be a bag or a bottle, um, these these are, are really cool because you can peel them off and you know put them on their um, coordinating color. Like, say for instance, it's color number 210, and it'll have the symbol, and, you know, it'll have your number. So you can take that and, and put the corresponding diamonds into the bottle and label it. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Pour your diamonds in your container and take that sticker off and place it on the lid or the bag and that's your identifier you know from the legend if you've done paint by number you know what I'm talking about or let's say cross stitch anything with the lead that you have to follow a legend there's a number there's a symbol there's a you know there's information on there and I do apologize because I could have, um, what do you call it, zoomed in a whole lot more. I didn't think about it until I, uh, right after, right after I uploaded this video. I should have done all of that, you know, before I loaded the video. That's that's a thank you, like a little thank you thing, and I think that's the one that has the directions in it. And if I'm not mistaken, that piece of paper will give you a discount. And nine times out of ten, it'll be a 10% discount. But, um, you know, every little bit helps. The wax, not the wax, geez, the glue, the glue is poured glue. Now, I use cover or like release papers, and what those are is they, you can cover your, um, you can cover the artwork with them. Just make sure that you, one side is paper, one side is um, glossy, or like just a little bit of waxy. And you want to put the wax part on top of the glue because if you put the paper side onto the glue, you're going to mess it up your canvas. So, yeah. But um, I had seen on another lady's YouTube channel that uh, Diamond Art Club kits, their later kits, have uh, been perforated. There, the sections have been perforated so you can tear off a section and work on it or not tear the whole thing off but you know tear tear it to where you can work on it 
and then um, you know when you get if you get finished with a section you know just go ahead and tear that little cover off or if you have work to do just fold that um, cover back on and um, I'm, I'm working on this one right now and I'm kind of torn between using their perforated parts or if, if I still want to do the release papers. I'm kind of getting fed up with the release papers but um, I'm, I'll, I'll go through here and, and see how I feel about it. But um, yeah, uh, you can't see diddly and I'm so sorry for that but um, <sighs> hindsight what can I say and the the um, poured glue area is on the drill field itself and what I say by drill field of course your diamonds are called drills I call them diamond because hey it's diamond art but um, the field, this is the, your field is the, the area that you work on. That's called the field. But the drill field is glued on the drill field itself. Now, if you've done a, um, a lower quality type diamond painting, you will notice that the, the the glue will extend the drill field by at least an inch and that just is is an invitation for um, dust if you have animals maybe animal hair uh, if you snack I don't snack while I do diamond painting but there are those that do um, if you snack you know the crumbs can get into it and that's that's just not very good quality at all but I I hope that I have not just talked y'all into um, looking at at their website but I hope that you do Diamond Art Club also has coupons um, online if you just go to your web browser and type in um, Diamond Art Club coupons um, and then or discounts then they will have them on there 10% um, off if you do sign up for their newsletter not only do you get their newsletter but you get emails um, for sales and new arrivals so it's it's a benefit plus they have other perks on there so if you want if you've been doing this or if you're new go check it out